to the first in our series of devotions reflecting upon being a people of love. Today is Monday the 15th of June. As we begin, let us still ourselves in a moment of quiet before God. And our prayer taken from Francis of Assisi. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we're born to eternal life. The reading today is taken from Luke chapter 9, verses 18 to 27. Once, when Jesus was praying alone with only the disciples near him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They answered, John the Baptist. But others, Elijah, still others, that one of the prophets has arisen. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered, the Messiah of God. He sternly ordered and commanded them not to tell anyone, saying, the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, chief priests and scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. Then he said to them all, if any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. What does it profit them if they gain the whole world, but lose or forfeit themselves? Those who are ashamed of me and my words, of them the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his glory, and the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. But truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves, take up their cross daily, and follow me. Jesus utters these words as a call to discipleship. I find it interesting that if we are to be those who love unconditionally, we need to do the same thing deny ourselves. This isn't self-denial in the sense of having to give something up for a result. For example, dieting. So you, you deny yourself certain things so that you can lose weight. Rather, this is the sense of surrender, of laying down our lives. If we're going to grow in our in relationships, we must be those who are ready to lay down down our lives for the sake of other people. As we see at the end of the Gospels, Jesus lays down his life for the sake of the world, vanquishing sin and death. He finds his life in his death. The same is true for the disciple of Jesus. When we give up our rights, our lives, our selfish ambition and our drive, when we lay down our whole self before God, we are in a position to find true life and love for the other. Until then, however, we remain blocked from it. The first step in learning to be people of love, then, is laying our lives down, sacrificing ourselves for the sake of other people. No wonder Jesus tells the disciples that people will know that we are his disciples if we have love for one another. Because love like this is unstoppable. We'll spend a few moments reflecting on this for ourselves.
How does the idea of denying or sacrificing self for the sake of others strike you? Do you find the concept difficult? If so, why? Speak to God about it. Sacrificing self for the sake of others is what Jesus has done for the world. How difficult do you find it to follow in his example? How does it feel to know that when you lay your life down, you will find it? Spend some time now reflecting upon your life. Where do you need to deny self for the sake of others?
a blessing for us as we finish. Be united in Christ, enjoy the comfort of his love, the fellowship of his spirit, the tenderness and compassion of our God, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen.